Laquan Shepard is a cornerback out of Maryland. He is six foot two, two hundred and five pounds. Transferred this year from the University of Cincinnati. While at Cincinnati, he had one year of starting experience and was a special team standout the two previous years where he sat behind Kobe Bryant and Ahmad Gardner. Jaquan Shepard is projected day three, perhaps late on day three. I think there's a lot to like about him. I think just the fact that he enjoys contact, he's smart, he's physical, likes to tackle, I think those things set him apart from many of the corners uh, predicted to go in rounds two and three who don't seem to like contact at all. We're going to watch film of him both at the University of Cincinnati and at Maryland. He wears jersey number three at Maryland, jersey number five at Cincinnati. This is Jaquan here at the bottom of our screen. Note that he's reading the backfield action. He's going to come downhill, beat this block, blow up this swing pass at the line of scrimmage. Again, he is a large corner, six foot two, over 200 pounds. Love his physicality. I love his willingness to tackle. Shows that he studies formations, recognizes blocking schemes. This is Quan at the top of our screen. Again, another swing to the back. He's going to beat, I guess this is a wide receiver's block here. While getting outside, setting contain and then making the stop. Good awareness, good physicality in taking on the block, and a nice stop. He's at the bottom of our screen, this time from Cincinnati. You can see him studying these motions in the backfield, getting off the block, setting contain outside, sees the back, cut it back, and gets in on this tackle. Jaquan is a very competitive player. He plays with a lot of fire. We see him at the top of our screen. We send him on a corner blitz. Takes him a second here just to pick up where the football is. Stops and starts. He's going to outrun the quarterback. Make a nice tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Bottom of our screen in press man. As the receiver comes off the line, watch him shed here. Watch the aftermath of the block. That is the effect it has on the wide receiver. And then watch him go get the ball carrier. Another blitz off the edge. He is good in disguise and a sure tackler in space. Watch him go get the quarterback. At Cincinnati, he played more man coverage. He played some of that at Maryland, but you see a lot of cover three, split field and man match stuff at Maryland as well. See him here at the top of our screen. Strikes me that he has okay speed, not great speed. You see him get double moved here. Ball's a little bit underthrown and he gets called for the pass center. May end up on Marvin Harrison at the top of our screen. He's going to get double moved and beat. I think he would gain a lot of confidence as a corner uh, to play in a scheme where there's two deep safeties, at least something helping him over the top. Again, we see a manned up top of our screen against Marvin Harrison. He's going to get beat inside here for the score, but you can see he's right there at the catch point in recovery. Uh, Harrison just kind of jukes him right there outside. And at that point, against a great receiver, he's really beat. But we'll see. He makes really, really nice plays at the catch point throughout the remainder of the video. One more time, matched up against Harrison at the bottom of our screen this time. The play goes away from him. All the actions to the other side. You can see his eyes that way as Harrison gets behind him. But Jaquan really has a knack for playing through the catch point, playing the receiver's hands and dislodging the football. You see that here in the end zone. And even though all the action is to the other side, you can tell by the way Harrison comes off the line that this play is drawn up specifically for him with that misdirection. So a really great job by Laquan staying home, uh, making a play in the end zone.
on in press man, singled up near the end zone. They're going to take two shots at him back to back. We'll watch both of them off the line of scrimmage. We see an offhand jam. He's going to squeeze to the sideline. Follow the eyes of the receiver. Extend his arm and break up the pass. Watch him after the play. Watch it again. This is the very next play. They try it again. Watch his reaction at the end of this one. Jaquan is out of our frame for the time being. He's at the bottom of the screen. He's going to get beat at the line of scrimmage with a missed attempt at jamming the receiver. I've seen that two or three times. They're going to run a mesh concept. Uh, good bit of separation already. Uh, this mesh and the uh, rub or the little pick that it provides do not help. At times, it's a very good thing to have his eyes in the backfield. Other times, it causes him to miss jamming receivers at the line of scrimmage. He does not have very long arms, even though he is a taller corner and a bigger corner, but he really has a knack for breaking up the pass just as it's about to be completed. Just a real good knack for reading the receiver reading his hands, and then following through. We see him here. At Watch him. This is exactly what he's doing here. Watching the helmet of the receiver and then the hands to find the football. And he's able to break it up. Watch it again. Singled up once again in press man at the top of our screen. He does a good job squeezing this route to the sideline. And once again, he's able to break up this pass at the catch point. Jaquan is a guy I'm rooting for. I think he's much better than he's being slotted in the draft. I'm not sold on his deep speed. As I said earlier in the video, he would benefit with some form of too high shell, reinforcing his coverage. He needs to work at being more consistent with his jam at the line. I mentioned before that he excelled uh, at special teams for two years at Cincinnati, and I think that's a great starting place for Jaquan. One more play, Jaquan making a play on the ball, this time in the end zone on the number three receiver inside.